I am not a war gamer. There it is. I said it. Hello, my beautiful friend, and welcome back. So it's been a while. Uh, what do I mean with I'm not a war gamer? Obviously, I'm not going to stop the miniature war game hobby. But over the last couple of weeks, um, if you're not aware of, um, as of right now, I'm still on sick leave because I've been burnt out with my job, um, with the work, and it was terrible. I still feel like crap. And maybe you also saw that I started to sell a lot of my stuff. So that means 40k, Age of Sigma, and so on. Uh, because I mentioned these two because they were just the majority of things that I'm selling on eBay right now. And, and or friends, because it's way easier to give it to friends than to pack it up and send it all the way. But doesn't matter. Um, due to that, that I had time to think about, and after my spearhead video, where I just put everything onto my table in the living room and that was just Age of Sigma. It was a shock to me. The things that I never saw because it was in my closet. Um, yes, closets. It was multiple closets where I should have, you know, clothes or uh, other stuff that's not hobby related. Um, it was basically just hobby related. I had two and a half to three closets just with hobby related stuff and it was just there and again i also felt a little bit burnt out with the hobby itself because i was focusing on so much stuff that was just not enjoyable for me i still love the lore uh, from uh, games workshop um oh yeah by the way i I'm so out of the routine to do videos. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to talk about, obviously, Games Workshop, so Warmer 40k, Age of Sigma, and Conquest, Shatterpoint, and Corvus Belly. Uh, if you don't know Corvus Belly, they make um, Infinity and War Crow. So um, let's start with Games Workshop. Games Workshop, um, you know, is the biggest market leader. Well, there is for our hobby beautiful models um, most cases but that is an objective thing so um, you might think otherwise um, and that's fine I mean everyone has another taste another acquired taste when it comes to other companies and their models and I had already spoken out against the direction in which 40k is going that base sizes are getting bigger you put more models on the table table size is getting smaller and you just put everything you have and more onto the table and you don't have enough space in your deployment zone which is terrible it is in my mind for me personally it is a terrible design choice um because for me, less models means more important choices, more repercussions for your choices. And that's why Age of Sigma, for me personally, is better than 40k. But then again, still a, quite a lot more models than I'm willing to prepare for, especially because I want to bring people into the hobby. And not specifically Games Workshop stuff. I mean the hobby, the miniature hobby itself, because it's just a beautiful hobby. So uh, Spearhead came along. Spearhead is great. Spearhead is fun. Uh, I had three games already with it. I lost because I'm not the best player. I can work with statistics. I can work with information. But in the heat of battle, I'm just going for the rule of cool. <laughs> so, oh, but that would be awesome. And is it viable? Is it 
smart to do that no but it's awesome it's fun and in the end i don't care if i win or lose it's just the fun that i have with a friend so spearhead is a great win for me uh, i already talked about my love for the format the only thing i want is more variety in armies which we kind of are getting now with um slaves to darkness because they're getting another spearhead box just with the marauders which is perfect i mean i really really like it the other spearhead box is still around it's still gonna be sold uh, for newcomers it's the best thing to have uh, spirit boxes are great and yeah because it's not that many models every choice is crucial perfect it's amazing i really really like it so then let's go to conquest you know my love for conquest i mean i have three shelves uh two and a half shelves dedicated here in the background i have uh the map on my wall maybe you have seen it in one of the videos i have a big art print which i've shown in one of the streams uh right beside me um it's huge and it's just one that i have i love conquest i love the world that parabellum gave us and they've been around for five years now and they're just lovable i mean they make regular happy hours the next one as of recording this right now is in early december and it's they're just so huggable i don't know they care about the community they talk to you and in those live streams you can ask them questions so the rule writer the story writer and uh, whoever else might be there but you can ask questions what is the decision what is the background for that decision and so on and they you know they love the game they care for the game and the community and every single piece of content they bring out it just oozes love and this is something that i really really adore of them but but i also sold a lot of stuff from conquest why because i again had just way too much stuff that was just lying around i gave it to friends who are interested in it and some things i sold on ebay which again is fine because the things that i'm keeping is my old dominion because it's undead freaking romans how awesome is that by the way it's the best and the spires because i have uh with old dominion i basically have everything and you can see i'm still working on them uh i almost based everything because i'm making custom bases uh, i still have it here in front of me with um temple pieces cork and uh cobblestone from vallejo uh, vallejo i don't know how to pronounce it i'm really sorry and it's just so much fun and i will make a painting video soon ish as soon as i find the muse for it because to build up executive function points to do anything right now is really really hard uh, for me and yeah again just two armies per system is what i'm going to keep sorry i forgot to mention this in uh, the games workshop part because for 40k is going to be rather small and with small i mean boarding action boarding action is just going to be necrons leaks of wotan for me gray knights uh, as soon as we get a new codex and new models but then one of the other armies is going to be kicked out it's probably going to be necrons because i just love dwarves for age of sigma the things i'm going to keep is it's really rather easy to tell already it's caradron overlords and fire slayers because they're dwarves i love dwarves uh they're small bearded germans basically <laughs> and um i still have my ideneth i'm still thinking about them um 
and I'm going to keep a couple of Osiak Bone Reapers, but those are just fun to paint because I really, really love the Osiak Bone Reapers, but they're not for play. Um, oh, I still have the Night Horns. Okay, I still have a little bit more for Age of Sigma, <laughs> but again, it's just Spearhead, so uh, it's not a army, it's a strike force, it's a spearhead, it's not much, so it's fine for me personally. And yeah, Conquest again, it's going to be full armies, 2000 points for Old Dominion. I must admit, I have almost 5000 points for Old Dominion, um, but I can just switch around everything that I have. Spires is going to be 1000 points, uh, that's totally fine with me. I still have a little bit more of it but those are also just for fun to paint so then shatterpoint shatterpoint you know i have the collector uh, the collector's box um the starter box and one squad uh jedi master luminara and her padawan and the two clone troopers um that's it that's all i have from shatterpoint it's not going to be more and yeah Infinity, Corvus Belly, let's just talk about them. And you see there is... I'm not a wargamer, not per se. I mean, I still have Conquest, but I'm a skirmish gamer. And it took me so long to really figure this out from myself, which is kind of sad, because I love this hobby but I'm at the point that I can't process new information anymore. This might be also not might. Uh, it is due to my burnout. I can't read new stuff. I started Linus of the Parch, the Italia Vedra book. It's really, really good. But I couldn't finish it because I caught myself with... Uh, I listened to two, three chapters and stopped for several days, which is... Usually not what I do. Usually I power through a book, an audiobook, in one or two days. And then I, you have my review. Dawn of Fire, book eight. I've been waiting so long for this one. Hand of Abaddon. I'm the same thing. I'm in the middle. I can't listen to it. I can't process the information. I already forgot what's in there. Uh, again, I've been burned out from work. Uh, rather, the job, uh, there is a distinction, because I love my work, I love being a lab technician, but I fell out of love with the rest. <laughs> but that's a discussion for as soon as I leave the company. Um, but yeah, then, um, also with Games Workshop a little bit, I'm not going to quit Games Workshop. Uh, I love Warhammer way too much. Um, my background is just proof of it and yeah um then we have corvus belly corvus belly infinity and war crow i must say i i know corvus belly since 2007 i think it was right when i started working for games workshop because other people came in talked about it and i was like what the hell is this i looked into it and it just didn't resonate with me. I didn't like the models back then um, from an aesthetic point. I didn't like the rules back then. But it changed, obviously. Now I'm fully on board with it because this is again a company where you can see how involved they are with their community. And there is just so much to love about them. They are also adorable, they're huggable, and in interviews you can just feel how much they care about their games and, uh, well, the community. Uh, a cynic might say, yeah, they're just doing it for the money, and of course they're doing it for the money, they're, there is, they're a company, they are here to make money, but also you can feel they are here to give people an amazing hobby. Um, just like Parabellum, the models are fantastic. Games Workshop isn't the only one up there anymore. And it's really, really sad to see how 
other companies are just being pushed to the side because there is a market leader. Everyone hears Warhammer and knows what it is, but it's really hard to say, I play Conquest, I play Shatterpoint. People know Star Wars, but Shatterpoint, again, is niche. And I really love that. Uh, what also brought me to Corvus Belly, by the way, again, uh, now that my interest is bigger in it, is the Infinity Paradise Lost trailer for the series, which, as of recording right now, we still don't know when it will release and where it will release, because on the Comic-Con panel they talked about it and said, we will tell you later. That's fine. <laughs> it's just so be it. Okay. Um, and yeah, it was really, really interesting for me. So I looked into Infinity and I said, okay, this is the time. You just have a handful of models. The games are quick, they're punchy, and you can just play it on a small, tiny board. And the starter box is amazing. I still try to get my hands on the Operation Blackwind box because it looks fantastic. It's been out of stock almost everywhere. So it's getting really hard, but those are the two factions that interest me. It's Ilef, uh, Aleph, or however it's being pronounced, um, the humanities AI that's basically controlling everything, and Hakislam, which is a um, humanity organization which tries to bring uh, prosperity to everyone, health benefits, and so on. Uh, and yeah, but new starter box coming soon for that Operation Springtrap with Panoceania and JSA. Um, also nice factions, but they don't interest me that much, But which is fine. Uh, again, I'm just gonna stick with two factions. And then we have Warcrow. Warcrow is a little bit bigger. It's up to 20 models per game, uh, per, uh, per side. And it also, the, the models are I just got the starter box and the models look fantastic. I mean, please focus. Um, you can see that I'm already starting to base the minis in a different kind of way. And I just love it. The quality is fantastic. I haven't looked into the lore as much, but it's again a beautiful starter box. I I have an unpacking video for it, but I really didn't like my, me unpacking it. Um, so I'm not gonna show it here. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but it's it's look it looks really good. I'm I can't tell you how much this game interests me. But then again, we have with these other three games that I'm looking into it. Not three games, it's rather four games. Um, because with Conquest, Shatterpoint, Infinity and Warcrow, um, the quality of the stuff around is, is astounding. Um, the core rulebook for Warcrow, there is such a vast difference in the quality of the book itself. So the paper, the hard book, uh, the hard case, and the binding. I, I'm a stickler for books. It's not a secret. Um, when I get a hardcover book, the first thing I do is not only sniff it, because new book smell, but open the hard cases, uh, the hard covers first, then a couple of pages, from each side, then again from each side, and wait for it to fall down by itself, because you don't damage the binding. Every time I hear someone that says, oh, I'm opening the book to hear the crack, uh, just, uh, it hurts me, it hurts me so much. I understand the feeling, I understand the sound, but you are damaging the back of the book, you're damaging the glue and everything. Um, and you basically have to rebind it. But that's a totally different discussion here. Um, and with the Warcrow book, it was just so smooth. It, with Games Workshop books, it's always really hard. The glue is always just so pressed onto it. 
Um, I don't know, it feels weird. It feels really, really weird. Um, Corvus Belly has also been around since 2001, I believe it was. And I'm interested in to seeing what Parabellum is going to do as soon as they're also releasing bigger books, hardcover books and so on. You, you bet that I'm going to buy those. Um, I still don't know what to do with the other art prints I have because one is already big enough, but yeah, <laughs> I'm going to buy every single one as I have every single t-shirt. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, I kind of digressed here, but I hope you get what I mean. I'm not a war gamer anymore. This might change again. We are, we are changing. This is not a secret. Even Nurgle players do have to admit that change is inevitable. Change is a good thing, by the way. That's also why I like Zinch. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I'm just not a war gamer anymore. I'm a skirmish gamer. I haven't touched a mini in a month or so, which is rare for me. And as soon as I had the Warcrow box in my hands, I just started building. It's just a total different thing. I'm also going to look into the new Middle-earth strategy game uh, because new Rohan models and I love Rohan and depending on how much models you need there, I'm either just going to buy and paint the models because they look awesome. Hammer and Harlev are fantastic. Helma Hammerhand is a beautiful model. Um, if you're a little bit um, on the fence with him, I do understand because it's not the king depiction of him. This is um, maybe a little bit spoilery, but this the depiction of him in the model is later in his story where he just punches people to death <laughs> and does other gruesome things uh, gruesome things um because he kind of dwarfs in at the end there i'm not going to spoil it for you because the movie is coming out in about two months and or just read the story it's really enjoyable. I love Helm Hammerhand and everything Rohan. So um, I'm really, really looking forward for this one. And yeah, this is when he leaves the Soothberg. Uh, so Helm's Deep. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk anymore about that. Please let me know what you think. Um, do you have the same thoughts? Um, is maybe Wargaming just too big? Is Skirmish Gaming a little bit more for you? Um, also, another tangent. I'm really sorry. Uh, this is already longer than I was uh, planning to do. Uh, I had a teacher that plays Iron Warriors in 40k. And this was in 8th edition when we talked about the game. And he had the same problems because um, he was new father, new father, he just had a child <laughs> and obviously he doesn't have that much time. Um, so we talked about it and I said maybe Kill Team or Necromanda is more for you because he and his friends had, uh, you set up the game, you try to play but it takes just so long because they can't play every now and then so they have to get into it every now and again and you know what I'm going to ask him um, how it's been for him with the hobby uh, because his office is just 200 meters away from my office I should visit him uh, as soon as I'm back at work uh, that is uh, which will take another two weeks um, yeah but I will keep you updated on that. I'm really interested now in what he's doing. And if you would be interested maybe in a small interview on how it is as a family father, because I don't know if so many people can relate to that um, because childbirth rates are going down. 
But yeah, I don't know. Uh, if you're interested in that, I might ask him if he's into an interview or I'm just gonna ask him how he's been with the new editions of 40k. But yeah, thank you so much for being with me here today. I know this has been a long one. I'm really, really sorry about that, but I needed to talk about this. Skirmish Gamer, that's just it. <laughs> Again, thank you so much. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section down below. I am keen to know what you have to say. And while you're here, please remember to do all the YouTube stuff because hitting buttons is not only fun. Why? Because that way we can build a bigger community and talk more wargaming, skirmish gaming and lore. I hope more often again. And by that I of course mean like and subscribe and you can support me with the links in the description box as well, um, with all the things that make the dings. And yeah, have a great day, stay fantastic, stay hydrated, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.